so many people with so many memories, as Nathan was saying, of uh, their connection to Olivia Newton-John, one of which was uh, an 18-year-old water ski instructor called Mark Beretta. Barretts, you taught Olivia Newton-John how to water ski. Yeah, could you imagine? Uh, that's such a beautiful lady. And um, I was 18 years of age on my first trip out of Australia, coaching at a place called Horton's Lakes, just uh, in California. And it was a tradition every year. She, she loved her water skiing. And she would book the place out. So they'd come out and they, they had a bus that they, they would live in for the week. They'd sort of be self-contained. And they'd pull up at the lake and uh, we would take them every day, coach them. And she was with Matt Latanzi at the time. And um, he, he was a fun guy. She was absolutely wonderful. You know, for a young Australian at that stage, it was 1984. And Olivia was really just a, a rising international star in a big way. She had the Koala Blue stores in LA. Uh, the physical film clip had just come out. It was, it was a magic time. And to spend time with her, and, and all the while she was just such a beautiful soul. She was exactly as we know her. You know, everything that you saw about Olivia was 100% her. She was just a beautiful person to be around. And I've got to say, a fantastic water skier too. She attacked water skiing the way she did everything in her life. You know, just with a touch of perfection. She had just beautiful form, um, and everything she undertook, she just wanted to do it right all the time. And quite a, just a, a big thrill to be around her and to spend that week teaching them to ski. And then at the end of the week. We had a USA versus Australia competition, and I'm proud to say we kicked their butts. Yeah, yeah. Brett, that's a long way from Geelong <laughs> to going to the States to teach someone like Olivia Newton-John. You must have wow. thought you were Christmas. Uh, oh, it was it was unbelievable because we we knew every year they would come out to this this lake about two hours out of uh, Los Angeles, and they would rent the whole lake for a week. You know, they just shut everything down, everyone else out, and just the instructors and, and staff stayed. And, and this, this particular year, we didn't think they were coming. Then all of a sudden, the call came about a week out and the place just went into chaos because this was obviously a very big star <laughs> who was coming out. And uh, we, we just had a fantastic week with her. But, the, you know, once they got there, you know, there were some strict rules about, you know, no photos and that sort of thing because this was really her downtime. And she, she just had a wonderful week. She just really unplugged and relaxed from the world. But she was no different. She was sweet and she was wonderful. And, you know, we'd sit on the dock and have a chat. And she loved the fact that there was another Australian in there and it, uh, an Australian was teaching her and you know, we, we just had a really good time. It was, it was pretty special and I'll always remember that and you know, I'll remember the, the wonderful sweet person yeah. that she was. Yeah, and also, Barrett's your connection to cancer research now through your involvement in Tour de Cure and with the Wellness Centre in Melbourne. Yeah, as you know, we've got a tremendous connection with the Olivia, Olivia Newton-John Centre and are really proud of that. You know, we do tremendous research projects together. We do a lot of fundraising for them. Uh, we do a, a great event and a great ride in Melbourne, which is, is connected with them. We do it on behalf of the Olivia Newton-John Foundation. And um, they have done such spectacular work. A lot of their researchers come and, and ride with us and, and raise funds, which you know, we direct then to the Olivia Newton-John Foundation. But um, what she has achieved there is nothing short of remarkable. You know, to, to start that from the ground up and get that done, and as you've heard throughout the morning, the impact that that centre has had on people's lives and cancer research and the breakthroughs and the treatment and the way that it has affected survival rates and the way that it's changed people's lives has been just incredible. I mean, if you were ever going to leave a legacy... Uh, like the rest of her life, there's probably no greater legacy that Olivia Newton-John can leave than that centre and what it has achieved. It is nothing short of yeah. incredible. What a wonderful, wonderful story. Two young Australians mm. hanging out um, and, and then older, keeping that connection through, uh, through cancer research. Brett, thank you for sharing. No, Good thank you. you. No, I've got to say, like, like everyone this morning, I'm shocked, shocked and just heartbroken and devastated. Yeah. She was a yeah. beautiful lady. Yeah, yeah, she was beautiful, she was elegant, she was talented, and it certainly is a sad day for Australia today. Thank yeah. you very much, Barrett.